hello hello everybody yes in this uh, video we're going to discuss about uh, the demand equation okay uh, whereby when demand is linear the equation for the demand curve would be uh, p is equal to a minus bq and uh, to other students doing the pm paper the uh, way that this equation is a uh, given in the paper okay it is given by the exam by the examiners so that uh, you shouldn't panic okay you shouldn't panic uh, whenever you are required to come up with the equation in the exam okay this is the demand equation please get used to it Okay, uh, as you can see, in the exam, you are given this uh, this uh, formula. Okay, no need to panic. All right, no need to panic. It is given in the uh, examination. Okay, it is given as part of the formula uh, available for the purpose of your examination. So, other students, do not worry. This you will be given. This formula in the examination all right uh, let's move on there is an example I want you to acquaint yourself with okay so I'm going through that example with you um, so what does this equation stands for okay P stands for the price okay price for the commodity and then Q the quantity is demanded a the price at which demand would be new then B is equal to change in price divided by change in quantity. Then the constant A is calculated as follows. A is equal to uh, current price in dollars plus uh, current quantity at current price divided by change in quantity when price is charged by B dollars. Multiply by B dollars. That's it. Okay, so let's go straight away into our example again. A Kanban sells an article at $12 per unit and a demand of 16,000 units at this price. If the price, if the selling price were to be increased by dollar per unit, it is estimated that demand will fall by 2,500 units on the assumption that the, the price or demand relationship is linear, drive the equation relating to the selling price to the demand. That's our question. So we know the formula, okay? We know the formula. In the exam, no need to rewrite the formula again, okay? Because time won't be on our side. Time won't be on our side. So, but here for the purpose of learning P is equal to A uh, minus B Q, all right? And uh, B, we are told that uh, it is the change in price divided by change in quantity. And what was the price? What is the change? The change is uh, if the selling price were to be increased by dollar per unit. So dollar does the change. Okay. B is equal to uh, dollar. Okay. Mm. Okay. Two thousand Okay, does it change? All right, so if we use our calculator, let us use our calculator 120 bar uh, 2500. That's uh, a 0 0.004. Uh, okay, 0 0.004. 0 0.004. Three zeros. 0 0.0004 all right and then let's find uh, our a okay we have found uh, b what about our a all right we are told the current demand is 16,000 fine i mean uh, our q the q from the question is about 16,000 that's our q Okay, so A is equal to 
uh, that's the price at which um, uh, demand would be zero. Okay, so A is equal to twelve dollars. Okay, remember is that's the formula. Okay, that's the formula, and this is how we are going to calculate our A. Okay, so that's twelve dollars. Uh, plus in brackets uh, 0 0.0004 okay multiply by 16,000 alright and we are going to get uh, capitalists plus um multiply by sixteen thousand that's six point four and you can see that four plus six point four that's eighteen point four Remember this one is in dollars. All right, that's eighteen point four. So, using these figures, okay, using these figures, our demand, uh, I mean, uh, demand equation would be P is equal to. Um, a which is 18.4 okay minus uh b 0 0.0004 q that's our equation okay that's our equation 18 p is equal to 18.4 minus 0 0.004 q all right I think that's it. Uh, we need to do this other example again. Okay? Uh, the current price of a product is thirty dollars, and its producers sell hundred items a week at this price. Okay, one week, uh, the price is dropped by three dollars as a special offer, and the produce producers sell hundred and fifty items. Find an expression for the demand curve, assuming that. This is a linear equation. Okay. Now, uh, I'm sure it's a bit easier. Okay, we just do what we did in our previous uh, example. Okay, uh, we can deduce from uh, this information. Okay. A is equal to uh, thirty dollars. Okay, A is thirty dollars at the price, the current price for the commodity. All right, plus a hundred. Okay, divided by fifty. Multiply by. Um, all right. Multiply by uh, three. Okay, and we get um, 100 divided by 50, that's 2, 2 multiplied by 3, that's 6, 6 plus 30, which is what, 36. Okay, what about B? What is B? B is equal to uh, change in price divided by, um, from our change in quantity. Okay, change in price. We are told that uh, uh, one week the price is dropped by three. Okay, so three divided by, uh, and the producer sell 150 from 100. So 150 minus 100. Okay, 150 minus 100. And this uh, should give us, we use our calculator, 150 divided by 100, that's 50. So three over 50. What is 3 over 50? 
3 divided by 50 that's 0 0.06 0 0.06 okay so the equation will be uh, 36 minus 0 0.06 q right uh, now we need to uh, do example chamber there all right do example chamber I'm sure we will be uh, done okay we'll be done uh, how to drive a uh, marginal revenue okay how to drive marginal revenue from demand equation all right and uh, let's give it a go okay temper limited has used market research to determine what to determine that if a price of 250 is charged if a price of 250 dollars is charged for product G, demand will be 12,000 units. It has also been established that demand will rise or fall by 5 units for every dollar for a rise in the selling price. The marginal cost of product G is 80 bucks. If marginal revenue is equal to A minus 2BQ, when the selling price P is equal to A, minus bq calculate the profit the profit maximizing selling price for the product g okay the product g and like i said uh these equations these equations should not worry us these are given okay they are given in the exam our examiners are very generous our examiners are very 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 generous okay this is look here look here okay mr okay is got a minus 2 bq p is got a minus bq b and you see they are giving in the exam they are giving do not worry do not worry okay so let's go ahead let's go ahead with our uh, chase let's go ahead all right um what's going on here Okay, 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 okay. That's better. That's better now. Okay, let me just uh, look for which pen must I use here. I'm sorry. This commit of mine is misbehaving. Hey, what's going on? Or maybe it's my pen, it's my tablet that is misbehaving. Okay, seems seems it's now ready for business. Seems okay. Uh, Okay, um, okay, back to the example chamber. All right, uh, that's our example there, and we have the information uh, which we need to do this particular example. Uh, let's then do it, okay? 
first of all you just have to start with our equation okay it's better here for the purpose of learning to retype the equation okay to retype the equation just have this uh, equation with us okay let's uh, cross check it better okay we are right in track mm. we are right on track all right now what is b now from the question what is b if you go back to the question we have to be led by the question itself We have to be led by the question itself. There is a change in price, okay, of a change in quantity, all right? So, or B should be one, okay? This is the change. In price one dollar okay and the change in quantity that's five okay one over five which is what to zero point two all right and then uh, what about a a should be uh, on the question a should be the current price Price of 250. Okay. Price of 250. Okay. So that's 250. All right. Plus. Um, 250 plus. 12,000 units. 12,000. Okay. Divided by 5. All right multiply by one this is the one dollar okay from the formula remember from the formula remember all right and this should give us something all right let us solve those in the brackets first 12,000 divided by 5 2,400 multiply by a dollar still 2,400 okay plus 250 plus 250 you get uh, 2,650 okay then uh, MR the question for MR is given, okay? MR is given, and uh, we are given in the question paper here. Just let us just take this, okay? A minus two BQ. A minus two BQ. A minus to BQ minus to BQ, which is equal to our A is this one two six five zero, okay, minus two B and our B is zero point zero point two to be uh, Q and what is our Q? Okay, which is equal to two six five zero uh, two multiplied by zero point two 
2 multiplied by 0 0.2 that's 0 0.4 cube okay that's 0 0.4 cube all right now profits are maximized where if you still remember our first our equation from the tabular uh, example when we discussed about the marginal revenue is what marginal cost profit profits are maximized profits are maximized at a point when mr is equal to mc okay that is when that is when uh, let me just let's just go back to the question the marginal cost of product G is 80 okay the marginal cost of product G is 80 so using this equation using this equation okay and we are told that MR is equal to this okay from our computation so far MR this is our MR okay remember so MR is equal to 2650 okay it's a minus here minus 0 0.4 cube is equal to MC and our MC from the question the marginal cost from the question from the question you can see that the marginal cost is this one the marginal cost of product G is 80 okay so that's what you have to do in the exam you have to articulate you have to be articulative okay All right In the exam, you have to be very, very, very articulative. Okay, so uh, we have uh, discovered that uh, from the previous here, from this previous uh, or previous working here, you can see that 2650 minus 0 0.4 is about 80. 2650. Minus four Q. Two six five zero minus zero point four Q is equal to eighty. Okay, that's the equations. That's the equation which we are dealing with for now. All right. So, uh, having this thing, I mean, having this equation uh, at hand. It is now easier for us to determine uh, the profit maximizing quantity okay or demand the profit maximizing Q okay just making Q subject of the formula that's very simple isn't it that's very simple okay we just have to um, Right, that's two six five zero minus eighty is equal to zero point four Q. Okay, then two six five zero minus eighty four over zero point four is equal to Q. So if we use our calculators, two six five zero minus eighty 
Divided by 24. We get 6425, which is what Q is the profit maximizing demand. Now we need to then substitute this Q in our in the equation P is equal to A minus BQ, our mainstream equation. Okay, and we know the values of A which we calculated earlier on and we determined that A from this, how much was A? Um, our A was its value, this was our A, 2650 and our B was 0 0.2. So 2650, that's our A, 2650. Amen. What's going on? Okay. Our A, 2650 minus 0.2, which is our B. Okay. And our Q is this one. We take this one as our Q, this one, 64. Two five, and if we use our calculator, if we use our calculator, we are going to have this figure. Okay, let's start with those in brackets. Six four two five multiplied by zero point two. Six four two five multiplied by zero point two. That's one two. So we are going to have two six five zero minus this value one two eight five minus. A, this is a minus one two eight five and what do you get what do you get two six five zero minus one two eight five that's thirteen six five thirteen six five this is uh the profit maximizing Profit maximizing price. The profit maximizing price. Okay. And the last example. If we, had, if we do that, we call it a day. Okay. If we do that, then we have to call it a day. I hope you have been helped with these uh, computations. So let's do the other example and we go home. Okay. Now, hey, come on. Um, amen. Hey, come on. Currently, is a demand. For one of its products of 200, I mean, of 2000 units at a selling price of $30 per unit. It has been determined that a reduction in selling price of $1 will result in additional sales, okay, in additional sales of 100 units. The cost of production are 1000 fixed, together with a variable cost of $20 per unit. Calculate the selling price per unit at which the profit will be maximized okay a company currently has a demand for one of its products of 2000 units at a selling price of eight dollars per unit it has been determined that a reduction in selling price of one dollar will result in additional sales of 100 units the cost of production are 1000 fixed together with a variable cost of 20 dollars per unit Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. As uh, always, I think we need to start with uh, let us just start our workings with our demand equation. P 
is equal to a minus bq to be safe and from the question b is equal to uh, let us be led with the uh, by the question it has been determined that a reduction in selling price of one dollar will result in additional sales of 100 so one over 100 that's our price because one is the change in price while it's 100 is the change in quantities okay and this gives us 0 0.01 then let's determine our a and what is the current price current selling price usually a is just current selling price plus current demand simple is that so our a plus 30 okay just to remember a is the 30 selling price 30 dollars per unit okay and um, our b okay current demand which is b multiplied by quantity okay uh, one of these products of 2000 units is selling price of that okay and so that's b multiplied by quantity okay plus uh b multiplied by quantity b is 0 0.01 multiplied by the quantity and the quantity is 2000 is given that's 2000 if you just look at it that's 2000 okay All right, so this gives us how much? Um, 2000 multiplied by 0 0.01 is going to give us 20, and 20 plus 30, that's 50. Okay, A is $50. Okay, so automatically our P is equal to 50 plus 0 0.01 Q. All right then we move a step further and say hey what is the total revenue okay what is our total revenue okay the total revenue at this price okay the total revenue should be uh, p okay total revenue should be uh, P multiplied by the quantity demanded okay P multiplied by the quantity demanded okay P multiplied by the quantity demanded is going to give us the quantity multiplied by 50 plus 0 0.01 Q Okay, obviously, when we, are, let's say we are selling, uh, the selling price, the selling price is $6, okay, for example, just an example, and the quantity is, the quantity is 1,000 units, obviously, uh, the total revenue should be uh, 6 multiplied by 1,000, this is the idea, this is the idea we are, we are leading to, okay. So P multiplied by the quantity. Since because we are just playing with this, with the same equation here, okay? We are just playing with the same uh, equation. We are just playing with the same idea. So do do not panic. We are just playing with the same idea here. We are still here. Okay, we're still here so we are still we are, we are still here all right so um this should become okay this should become 50q plus 0.01q square okay and we we know there is this particular equation don't forget 
we know there is this particular equation okay is the particular equation which we all know there's this particular equation which we all all know right uh the mr is equal to and i said uh, earlier on that it is given in our exam so do not panic we know this equation okay and mr uh, is equal to um what is our a a this is our a Okay, this is our A, A, that's 50, okay, one, one, minus 2B, and what is our B? That's our B, okay, that's 0 0.01, okay, multiply by Q, it's fine, okay, so, MR becomes 50 minus 0.02Q. 0.02Q. Okay. But the marginal cost, okay, from the question, haven't you been given the marginal cost? The marginal cost was given in our equation. If you can, if you can see here, okay. The marginal cost was given. Now misbehaving now. Computer is now mis mis misbehaving. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for your time. Oh my god. Okay. Just a minute, please. Just a minute. Just a minute. No, these computers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So you can see that uh, uh, these ones, our variable costs, our MC, the cost of production are $1,000 fixed together with a variable cost of $20 per unit. Variable cost, okay, that's our MC. Marginal cost per unit, okay? So 
in the exam you just have to be very critical when it comes to comprehension when it comes to understanding and getting information from the scenario okay just have to be very 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 critical with yourself no times these examiners are very tricky okay nothing is going to come on a silver plate nothing is going to come on a silver plate i tell you i bet with my salary okay now we now know that uh, the mc okay our mc is equal to 20 bucks all right and we know there is also this particular equation okay where he says that uh mc i mean mr should equal to mc okay now if we know this then it means that mc i mean it means that the mr here mr mr is is being represented is being represented this is mr okay that's mr okay so we substitute mr with these figures so mr that's fifth minus 0 0.02 q should equal to 20 because mc is 20 let's substitute mc with 20 okay so let's make q subject of the formula remember this are also in dollars so let's subject q make q subject of the formula you can find out that 30 is equal to 0 0.02 q okay and q obviously would be 30 divided by 0 0.02 30 divided by 0 0.02 1500 That's our Q, 1,500. But we are not yet done, okay? We are not yet done. We are not yet done. We need another sheet where we do the computations okay we are not yet done all right we know that p is equal to uh we determined p uh, i mean p some time ago okay We know that P is equal to, uh, where is our P? Yes, this one. P is equal to 50 plus uh, 0 0.01 Q. 50 plus 0 0.01 Q. And we know that P is the profit maximizing price. 50 plus 0 0.01 Q, which is about 50 plus 0 0.01. We've just calculated Q as 1,500. So remember, just, just to rewind your video, you can see that we've just calculated that Q is uh, 1,500. So, if we do our mathematics, you can see that uh, it's now 50 plus 15. I'm sure. So 50. Hey man, hey man, hey man, hey man. This one. This 
the negative okay and we get p is equal to 35 dollars this is the profit maximizing okay so the profit maximizing um price okay but um what is then the maximum profit we can get we are now having this information that the quantities profit maximizing quantities are 1500 profit maximizing uh, selling price is 35 dollars so what is the total or maximum profit we can get Okay, that's very simple. Okay, the total contribution from 1,500 units should be um, contribution. Let's use a, a different pen here. Okay, let us use a different pen. Okay, contribution. Oh, this computer okay it's fine it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine contribution is equal to uh, 1500 okay 1500 multiplied by selling price 35 minus variable cost and our variable cost is how much our variable cost is 20 if you still remember our variable cost is 20 this this one 20 okay right and we get uh, which is how much here if we use our calculator very well so 35 minus 20 that's 15 15 multiplied by 15,000 uh, I mean 1,500 we get 22,500 okay now for us to get profit we have also to to deduct fixed cost total fixed cost the fixed cost from the question this is how much from the question the cost of production are one thousand dollars fixed one thousand dollars fixed so we have to deduct them to arrive at the profit so you can see that the total profit was 21,500 the maximum profit we can get out of all this now somebody might be ask, asking why then did we do this uh, this uh, laborious question what was the purpose of doing this okay uh, it's only that in this particular examination especially the ACCA pep or and in most accounting most accounting uh, examinations okay we are not allowed or we are not required to do differentiation and so forth okay so um, this one we need not to worry much about what's going on okay do not worry much about what's going on okay for now just do not worry however this is where uh, this type of understanding this is where this equation was derived from okay this mr is equal to a minus 2bq and so forth this is but we are not allowed to differentiate anything no differentiation is involved in this uh in the exam so do not worry much about that one okay do not worry much about that one this formula you are going to get it 
in the exam and you get you are going to get it in the exam like i said if you look here it is there it is there in the exam so don't worry no any differentiation is going to be required thank you i hope you have been helped with this audio if you find anything challenging or if you are uh, willing to to learn more uh, in this aspect in this subject uh, just enroll with the Transco uh, consulting services we have got expert tutors in the field of uh, management accounting and performance management as well as in many or all other subjects so do not worry just get in touch the link uh, to our site is also included uh, in in the links below thank you